Rosa, Hi. it's so nice to meet you. Glad to be here. How is RSA 2019 going? It's been pretty amazing, I can't lie. It's It's been educational and fantastic and a great big thrill. Happy to I be here. I can't wait to hear about the highlights. Rosa Smothers, you're the Senior Vice President of Cyber Operations for Know Before Now. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your background, how you got here. Well, I came from the agency. I spent over a decade at the Central Intelligence Agency, and I also did a rotation with the National Security Agency uh, conducting cyber operations. But needless to say, um, I have a certain level of expertise in what makes for a great uh, data breach, if you will. So you were recruited by Stu Showerman at yeah. Before. Okay, yes. tell me how that happened. Uh, well, I worked for Stu previously in my pre-agency life, pre-9-11 life. I was a sales engineer at Sunbelt Software, so I knew Stu. I knew he was a person of integrity. Uh, I knew the kind of offerings he had, and I definitely was a believer in security awareness training and ongoing social engineering testing because I've seen for myself the significance of that and why we need that for our national security. In your career, I mean, obviously, uh, social engineering is a huge part of the human factor in yes. cybersecurity, which we're going to talk yes. about with Stu and Kevin in a little while. Yeah. But in your career, I'm just curious, because we are doing a report on women in cybersecurity. Yeah. How have you seen the field of cybersecurity change as far as including more women? Mm -hmm. Is it getting better? Oh God, yes, so much. I started out often being the only woman in the room. And now I'm seeing not only the only woman in the room, but the uh, more women in the room also of color in the room. So that makes me happy on so many levels. Yeah, but yeah. who cares who's behind the wheel of driving the cybersecurity? Because it brings differing uh, perspectives. It's sort of that concept of red teaming, which we all know from a cybersecurity perspective. You want that differing perspective to say to you, hey, why don't we approach the breach from this perspective? So people from different linguistic or cultural backgrounds Absolutely. are always going to bring something different to the table and that means a huge amount. I benefited from that continuously at the CIA and we continue to benefit from that at uh, our, our no before. Absolutely, I mean, as a woman myself, I want to know that women were part yeah. of the engineering team when they were developing my safety and security. Yeah. We have a different perspective on things, on applications, on technology, yeah. and I want them you know, right there at the table Absolutely. talking about it. Absolutely. So um, what are okay. some of the technical challenges that you foresee in 2019 going okay. forward? Um, I think one of the challenges that I see is the idea of um, hardware and software is the totality of the solution. Uh, DMARC, which is uh, basically an email authentication and, if you will, a scrubbing effort, um, that is something that is often uh, con considered to be like the end-all be-all and it's not a panacea. By all means, there are technical workarounds when it comes to DMARC. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of the day, as long as your end user has access to personal webmail, personal social media sites on your corporate systems, they'll still be bulk fished, they'll still be spear fished, they will still provide a toehold to your network and that's where we come in. It's mind boggling that people, I mean, they think phishing is just this simple thing. You don't click on it, you send it, yeah. over, you know, but how many people, what is the vulnerability factor there? The industry standard right now, upwards of 90 plus percent of breaches on networks are from some sort of social engineering effort. So wow. yeah, it's, wow. it's crazy. And the mind boggling thing is because I think technical people are thinking about technical solutions. The most obvious problem, which is the social engineering resulting in breaches, is not what's being resolved. And I think that's a big reason why we're here. I've heard yeah. that a lot at RSA today with all yeah. the interviews I've conducted. It was really great meeting with you. Thank you so much. And I appreciate it. I can't wait to follow more of what you're working on. Thank you so much, Georgia. Thanks, Rosa. Thank you.